Hi, I'm Sandra, the creator at Sing Play Create, and today I have 10 beanbag activities that you can use in your classroom today. Let's get started. Today I'm sharing 10 activities that are going to help you keep student engagement high. This is hard to do today, and I understand the challenges. I've been there and I get it. So I'm going to hopefully give you some ideas to help you solve some of those challenges in your classroom. Today's activities are going to be using bean bags. Why not? I'll bet you don't know all the things you can do with these bean bags. Now, these bean bags I have are from Bear Paw Creek. They are helping with this video. And at this time, we're sponsoring a huge giveaway where you can get bean bags and other movement props to use in your classroom. So you'll want to check the links below for the link to the giveaway. And let's get started on those 10 activities. I'm gonna give them to you right now. The first activity is very simple. It's one you can use any time of year. It's a great warm up, and I like to use it for upper elementary grades specifically because supposedly they already know how to play a steady beat. So we're gonna use a bean bag. Now you can play it two different ways. You can have everyone have a bean bag, or you can start with one bean bag in your circle. We're gonna make a big circle, and I don't use music for this. I only use a hand drum. And the reason is, is I'm going to vary the tempo. If you're comfortable, you can sit at the piano and play uh, and vary your tempo at a piano too or other instruments. But if you wanna keep it simple, just grab that hand drum, get the kids in the circle, toss in the bean bags, and then we're gonna start playing the beat. We're gonna first just toss it on the beat. They can pass it on the beat and they can slide it on the beat. It's a very simple beanbag activity you can do any time of year, pretty much with any grade. One of my favorite kindergarten activities is Grizzly Bear, and I know a lot of people use that song and they do the solfege or they do the dynamics to the song, and here's another way to do it with a beanbag. So we're going to create a circle with everyone in the circle, and everybody's going to have a bean bag, which is going to keep their hands busy talking about engagement. So I'm engaged. I have my bean bag, even if I'm fiddling it. So we want to tell them to keep their bean bag safe right in their hands. And then we have our circle of kids and the middle is the forest. And in the center of the circle is the bear's cave. Instead of putting a person in the bear's cave, what you're going to do is use something you already have in your room. So if you have a bucket, you can use a big bucket. It needs to be big enough and wide enough so the students are going to throw their bean bags and they should be able to get, some of them should be able to get them into the bucket. Not everybody. I've used a scarf actually because it's just a square. I lay it on the ground and if they land on the square, that works actually maybe better than a bucket, but you can use either one. So give those ideas some thought and we're gonna sing the song and everybody's gonna very softly, grizzly bear, a grizzly bear, sleeping in a cave. They're very quiet. Please be very quiet, very, very quiet yet then we're going to change the dynamics and we're going to say if you wake him if you shake him he gets very and then we toss our beanbag onto the bear or the thing in the middle now I had a lot of stuffed animals in my classroom and I had a big bear so I would have just put the bear and we would have just tossed our beanbags onto the scarf and the bear would be resting on it. You know, just any little teddy bear stuffed animal will work. So that's a really fun way to do grizzly bear, grizzly bear sleeping in a cave. You can still do the dynamics and they're showing and holding it with the bean bag. Version two of that could be if your kiddos already know how to pass a bean bag, you could have everybody have a bean bag and pass on the beat and sing the song, but they're passing softly because we're tiptoeing in the forest and we don't want to wake the bear up. And then they stop on the word, if you wake him, they would stop and hold the beanbag they have. And then they would go, if you wake him, if you shake him, he gets very 
mad. So that would be really fun. So you're getting in beat and dynamics. Everybody's hands are busy. They've got a little fine motor muscle thing going on here. So it's a really fun activity for your younger students. If you're new to beanbag activities, I've got a cute little song that's just right for pre-K and kindergarten and maybe even first grade. If you go through the song, it just is called, It's Time to Say Hello to the Beanbag in My Hand. You can do this as an activity without using my song. It's just saying hello to our beanbag, switching hands. I'm holding it with both hands. I can shake it low, I can shake it high side to side, switching hands. So you could just go through that real quick with your kiddos before you even start playing any kind of beanbag activities. Say hello to your beanbag in your hand is on the Sing Play Create Kids Music channel in a video format. You can find it there. You can use beanbags to play games in your classroom where you test students' abilities or help them practice skills. Just divide your class into two teams. Take a scarf or a flat piece of fabric and put it on the floor a good distance away that they could toss the beanbag to and have a chance to land on it, but don't make it too easy. Each of the teams will take turns tossing. If they don't land on the square, then they're gonna have to do some kind of musical activity. All you have to do is set a stack of rhythm cards right next to the scarf or the thing you put on the floor, the bucket, and they just walk up. If they toss the beanbag, if it misses, they go up, they grab a rhythm card, they play the rhythm, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, and then they go back to their team. You could have it where everyone on the team plays the rhythm. That works too. I found that putting a game together where they're playing the rhythms, but it's part of a game, and we're tossing a beanbag, Super fun activity. Even fourth, fifth, and sixth graders will like this. Just choose the right music activity that has the interest and the capabilities of that grade level so that they'll want to do it. I'm talking about keeping engagement high in the music classroom, and one of the ways you can do that is use bean bags for some of your activities. Sometimes they just need a little tweak to add a beanbag and it can totally change the way your students will respond to the activity. They'll think it's something different because you're gonna say, we're gonna play a beanbag game. And they're gonna love it because they hear the word game. All right, so here's one idea is to use the song, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And we're gonna make a circle and the farm is in the middle of the circle. And we're gonna choose Old MacDonald that's gonna be one person and they're gonna sing the song. As they're singing the song, I have everybody pat the beat. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a, and then the farmer who has the bean bag is going to give it to someone. So you can have the farmer walking around and then that way they're not just standing straight in the middle. Just tell them that they're walking around in the farm and they're looking for the animals. And they're going to choose someone to be the animals. So they're gonna to get to the old McDonald had a farm and on that farm he had a, and the farmer will choose someone. Now before I play the game, I usually go through and have the kids tell me what animals we're gonna use, or I have a standard list and I write it on the board because with the choosing and the bean bags, it might be too much to also have the student in the middle pick an animal, but that's something you can figure out. The idea is to have a bean bag and you can choose. You can have them say you're gonna hand it to them, or if you want, you can have them toss it to somebody from the circle Either way, they're using the beanbag and they're gonna play this choosing game and they're gonna be singing and feeling the beat and then they're gonna act out the animals. And so if I get chosen for the horse and I catch the beanbag, I can drop the beanbag and still nay nay here, nay nay there, do the horsey actions. Then I'm gonna pick the beanbag back up because they're gonna sing and on that farm he had a, and it's gonna be the next animal. So then the person that was the horse is gonna to toss the bean bag to another student. And that's how you just keep the game going. It moves very quickly. 
That's why I usually write the words on the board so that we just have a clear idea of where we're going in the song and we cover all the farm animals that we want to in this activity. So it keeps engagement really high using the spin bag. We've turned Old MacDonald's song into a fun game. You can take many of the songs that you might do in your classroom, nursery rhymes and other activities and turn them into a beanbag game. So I'm going to show you how I do that with the farmer and the dell. So in second grade we usually do this, it's a sequence song and it's a game song so we got everybody working together and sometimes I have changed the word wife to friend. It just depends because if the farmer is a girl then I don't change the word to husband, I just say friend. I say we're just going to choose a friend to help them at the farm. So that's just what I do. So the actions to the song are going to be the person that's going to be the farmer is just going to toss the bean bag in the middle of the circle. Everyone else will be on the outside of the circle and they're going to have their hands behind their back. They don't have bean bags, only the person in the middle has a bean bag. Then everybody else is going to put their hands behind their back and walk. Farmer in the dell, farmer in the dell, hi ho the dario, we're in the dell. Then we get to the next verse and we're going to keep going. The farmer takes a friend, the farmer takes a friend, hi ho the dario, everybody stops on dario. And then they're going to take their hands and they're going to put them out empty like this. The farmer takes a friend and the farmer is going to toss the bean back to someone and they're going to catch it. So we're teaching them to work together because they're going to need to be nice with their tossing and not everybody's going to get the bean bag. There's going to have to be one person get the bean bag. Then they switch places and the game continues around. I also will go through and you can add in more animals to this song if you want to include more people in it or you can just repeat the song as many times needed so that everybody gets a turn. I've done it that way too. So hope that gives you an idea for putting a beanbag activity with some of your game songs. The Farmer in the Dell tossing the beanbag. It's fun. I love to play games and especially game songs with my students. I find they respond really well and they just love to keep repeating them and they just seem to learn everything better when we're playing games and singing and moving together. So I came up with a way to add in a bean bag to an all-time favorite snail snail. And you're probably like, what do you mean you added a bean bag? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to sing the song the way, same way and you can go ahead and teach your regular lesson and then I would teach the regular way to walk in the circle where you have one student at the end of the line is going to remain stationary while the other students wind around, go around and round and round until they get all wound up into a like a swirl and then they unfold singing again turn around and go around and round and round so they're going to do that and that's it that's great and I would teach it that way first then I would do the beanbag version they're going to sing the song and do the spiral the same way so the person that's at the end that you're going to have remain stationary is going to stand still while everybody sings and moves around the spiral and then when they get to where you're, they're done then instead of unwinding they're going to pass the bean bag while they sing snail 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 go around and round and round which will be really fun they'll pass it so it, and, and they sing it until the bean bag gets all the way to the very last person and then drops and then you can have them sing it again and unwind. So I like that. I like the version adding the bean bag in. It gives them another thing to do, changes it up a little bit. And what you could do is if you do that activity in first grade, you could add the bean bag passing on the steady beat while they're singing to the second grade activity, which would change it up a little bit. You're using the same song, but you're using it in a little bit different way using a bean bag on Snail Snail. One very easy way to incorporate using beanbags in your music classroom or your movement activities is to use them as part of your game song, your singing games. One singing game that I like to do this with is Doggy Doggy Where's Your Bone. 
You can use a bean bag for the bone in a game. That makes it easy. Just get the bean bag out. This is the doggy's bone, and then you can play the game. Another way you can do it, if you want to give everyone in the circle something to do with their hands. If this is something that your kids like and even need, that's to feel and touch something that will help them keep their focus and their attention on what they're supposed to be learning and also keep the game moving along with less disruptions, try giving everyone a bean bag. Okay, but then now what do you do about the bone? Just use something different for the bone. You can use a rhythm stick. You could, if you have different colored bean bags, you could say this color is the doggy's bone. Then everyone has a bean bag behind their back and they're feeling it and they're touching it and they're paying attention to the game because their hands are busy. A lot of children need this kind of thing to keep their focus. And you know what? If it's a child who doesn't really want to play with it, they'll just drop it behind their back. That's okay. But you've given those that need it, they'll get a bean bag. And you haven't picked them out of the group. And you've made it easy for everyone to have something to do, which is going to keep engagement high and learning high and teacher happy. <laughs> Give using bean bags a try in your music classroom. They're so much fun. So now it's time to do your vocal warm-ups, and you have a bean bag in your hand. Seriously? Of course, because the bean bag is visual. It's also tactile. So it's going to give the students two more things to deal with while they're using their voices. It's going to help a lot of students channel that energy and stay focused during their vocal warm-up. We could go, ooh. Ah, e, ah, oh. The cool thing is, is if you do this kind of activity more than one time, you're going to have greater success. The first time, you're going to get a lot of dropping, a lot of playing around, and that's okay. But by the third, fourth, and the repeating it either every week or at least two times, a month so there's a continuity in the repetition, then you're going to find the students will get it. And the good students, the ones that always want to do just what's right, they're going to lead the class in this. And so we can have our vocal explorations and a beanbag in our hand. And here's where we can warm up our voices. Ooh. Or just on a solid note. Ooh, hum. Can do all kinds of things that you do with your vocal explorations with the bean bag. I like using bean bags in the music classroom because they keep engagement high, the kids really like them, and it's always easy to say we're gonna play a bean bag game today. And I know you know kids love games, and so already I have a hit when I get out my bean bags. Now, sometimes I just want to do a movement activity, and I have one movement activity called Do the Beanbag Twist. And one reason I'm bringing it up is because in that activity, they're not going to toss or throw the beanbag. And it's a good beginner activity if you want your kids to just hold on to the beanbag and then move. So you're not going to have to chase the beanbags, they're not going to be dropping and picking them up as part of the activity. And it's just do the beanbag twist, do the beanbag twist, shake it right. You're going to shake left between your legs, over your head. So it's got some good body movements, cross body movements. We're going to exercise those gross motor muscles, but we're not going to do a lot of tossing and passing that might cause other issues. So I highly recommend you take a look at that do the beanbag twist. It is on the Sing, Play, Create Kids Music channel. Uh, do the beanbag twist. And it's just a fun, simple activity. Uh, it goes along with the album of beanbag activity songs if you'd like to check that out. The links are in the description and there are some previews at the end of this video if you want to look at them. I highly recommend giving beanbag activities a try. <laughs>
Another activity you can use to keep engagement high in your elementary music classroom is using a beanbag with a song. Now I have a little song that I wrote called There's a Chocolate Chip Cookie on My Head. And it's a pretty simple song. It's just there's a chocolate chip cookie on my head. There's a chocolate chip cookie on my head. Oh, it would be so yummy if it were in my tummy. There's a chocolate chip cookie on my head. Then it goes through the different body parts. So then it goes nose. It would be so yummy if it, it would be so yummy if it were in my tummy. There's a chocolate chip cookie on my nose. And then there's a chocolate chip cookie on my shoulder. There's a chocolate chip cookie on my belly. Oh, there's a chocolate chip cookie on my knee. There's a chocolate chip cookie on my toes. Give them something to do at the end of the song with the bean bag. They could either drop it, toss it, or toss it in the air and catch it. You can use this idea with another song, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and you can have them hold the bean bag while they do this song. Then you can use it as a tempo lesson and vary the tempo. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, so it's a little different than using their hands because I'm giving them something to hold. And this has been shown to really help kids. It helps them uh, channel their emotions, anxiety. It calms them down. Give them something tactile to hold on to and the nice little beans or particles that are inside these bean bags, you know, you can hold on to them and it, it's really good therapy for them to do this. So that's an idea to use a bean bag using a song. I'm sharing some ways to use bean bags in the music classroom to keep engagement high and learning high and teacher happy. It's easy to use them and they're tactile, they help with fine motor skills, and they give the children something different to do than maybe what you've done before. You can also use bean bags as just a movement activity. You can turn on some music and have them toss, pass, slide, drop, and pass around, you can come up with a lot of different actions and things you can do just with music, just by giving everybody a beanbag. 
Maybe you want to do Latin music in your classroom, but you don't have time to get a whole complete Latin music lesson ready. Gather some Latin music that you know is appropriate for them to listen to, talk about it, and then say, we're gonna pass the beanbag to this music. Beanbags are so much fun. I have a lot of beanbag activities in the Sing, Play, Create store. There's a preview at the end of this video. I'm using Bear Paw Creek bean bags. I really like their music props. I love their philosophy and I really like using movement props in my classroom. I hope you'll check out Bear Paw Creek. I appreciate you watching this video and I'm thinking of you and I'm cheering for you. Hope that these beanbag activities help you with all your music classes. Thanks for watching.